let's have a look at grouping and subtotaling. So we have a, a data set here, lots of sales, different departments, products, etc. And I want to summarise this into revenue or total sales revenue by department. Now, we could, I suppose, do a, a sum if that we've done in an earlier video, but this time we're going to use the subtotaling feature. Now, where I need to be for this section is in data. And if you remember in data, this is where you can add a filter or take it off. You can sort on one field or you can sort on multiple fields. Now in this case, we are first of all going to sort department, um, sort alphabetically by department. So click on sort and you'll see here I've got sort by. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to sort by department and I'm going to click on OK. Now incidentally, if you are sorting and you don't see your column headings, it could be because your data has headers box has been unticked. If it's unticked, it will just sort by column A, B or C. But if you do have headings, this box should be checked and then you can sort it. And remember, when you're in this area here, you can sort not just in one one field but on, on numerous fields just by adding more and more levels. However, let's just have this sorted, which it is, and now we're going to go, we're staying in data, and now we're going to go to the far right hand side and we're going to click on the subtotal button. You'll see here it's giving us some options. It's saying at each change in month, well we're not doing it by month, we're doing it by department. So at each change in department, we are going to use the sum function. We're going to add up the total sales. Notice there's a drop down option beside sum. You could do other things such as count and average, but we'll just stick with sum. We want to get the total value of the total sales for each department. Click on OK. Now nothing much has changed here except for you have this grey strip down the, the, the left hand side and you've got now one two and three box numbers. We're in number three at the moment and if I was to scroll down what you'll see is the end of the skate department, there's quite a lot of them, there's a total there and you'll see the, the little minus box go down again and you'll see the snowboarding total. Now if you want to condense that into an easy, even easier to read format, if you click on number two here we have it now by department, including a grand total. And if you clicked on number one, it would be the grand total only. But let's stick with number two, and here are the totals. And you'll see there it's row 66, 132, 169, and so on. Now let's just say you wanted to copy and paste this information. Perhaps it's got to go into a Word document or some, some other um, sheet in your workbook. If I highlighted that, went back to home, clicked on copy, and let's say I've got a new sheet here and clicked on paste. You'll notice there that that doesn't work because it's it just brought the whole lot across again. So let's undo that and let's have another go. What I can do instead is if I click on F5, the F5 key, you have this dialogue, dialogue box that comes up that has a it's the go to box. And here we have a button with a special on it. If you click on special, you'll see you've got the option here to um, copy visible cells only. Click on that, press OK, you'll see it changes slightly with double lines. If I now copy, and you'll see even more changes to what you would normally see for copying, click on the sheet and then paste it in and then I'm just widening that and then here you have the information now in the, from rows 3 to 7 it's taken all the information across. Now looking at the second example, the second sheet average sales, we're going to do the same again, this time finding the average for the sales for each department. So click on again, or well, click somewhere in your data set, up to data, go to sort, let's sort again by department, click OK. Once you've done that, along the ribbon to subtotal. At each change in, drop down option, department. We're not using the sum function, we're going to use the average. It's average sales we're looking for this time. 
based on column G, the sales figure. Click on OK. Click on number two. And there you will see the average for each department with regards to their product sales. Now looking at the third example, the sales director needs to know the total number sold of each product. So not department this time, but product. So click in the data set up to sort and we're going to sort by product description. That will give you the product. Click on OK and there we have all of them. And this time he wants to know the total number sold of each product. So we are going to go into our subtotal. At each change at this time in uh, product description and we're going to keep with the sum function and this time it's not on total sales it's on number sold so I'll uncheck total sales tick number sold we want to add them all up for each product type click on OK you'll see there there's information there if we click on the number two box on the left hand side we can summarize that's now all our products this time totaled by the number sold. So that's how you do grouping and subtotaling.